Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Are you looking to sell your domain on GoDaddy? In this video, we will cover the steps to list, promote and sell your domain using GoDaddy's platform. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So first thing first guys, you have to go to GoDaddy.com. Make sure that you have an account and right after that go to the home page. First thing, we have to make sure that you have already a domain on GoDaddy. So what you have to do is to simply click right here on the home page or simply go to domains and search for domain names. Right after that click here and write a domain that you want to own. For example, let's see Cristiano Ronaldo 7 CR or something like that. And let's check if this domain is available. As you can see, this domain is available. There will be several domains with the same name, so there is a good uh, outcome that seems out of it. So what you could do is to buy all of these domains, and basically you could really sell them for a higher price. If we went here to the filters, let me just go to the filters, we can make the pricing limited, we can change the character length, so we can choose exactly what kind of extensions, for example, the extensions are basically that .online, that .site, that .job, that .xyz, so we can choose exactly which domains we could go for. And once you buy the domain and you have it all by your own in your dashboard, which you could get the access to it very easily, simply by clicking here on your profile and then go to my product and your dashboard should be accessible then here in this area you will find your domains so here I have one of my domains that I have already bought what I'm gonna do is to simply click here on manage and from this page I will be able to go to domain and they will give me here uh, first of all uh, like an estimated price or value for this domain itself so here they are estimating it to be valued at least below $100 USD so I'm gonna click here to list it for sale and let's start the process. So first of all we have to go here and click on get started. Now we should add a price so set your buy now price which is basically a price without negotiation. So once person wants to buy it then you simply have to put that price and you can take it. For example $120. Now what I'm gonna do is put it at 100 since it is estimated below 100 so I'm gonna just keep it as 100 and what I'm gonna do is to add uh, like uh, add a for sale page which can lower our commission by f fee by 40% and double the chance of selling the domain by adding a for sale lender page. Let's go here publish listing and as you can see one last thing one time activation. Once you click publish listing, we will create a few after Nick account for you and publish your listing. I uh, already have an account, click sign in, it's it. So we need to first click to like after Nick account. So let's click right here. And now we have to follow these steps. So I'm gonna simply just follow these steps. And basically, guys, for those who doesn't have an account or already have an account, you can literally just go back and click on sign in instead. So this is my domain, as you can see. And here it is. So a simple value, it is on, everything is on. Now let's try to do this again. And as you can see. The, it is listed. Let me just go to list for sale. Uh, there we go. Let's ignore everything from here. Set by price. Let's do this again. Hundred. Add for sale page. Publish listing. Sign in. And instead, as you can see here, we need to go ahead and uh, go to After Nick and create an account. So let's go to After Nick, and let's create an account very quickly. Go to sign in, and click on create an account. After that, click right here and try to create an account very easily. So I'm going to do this. Let's remove this point. And here let's add a password. So let's do that as well. And click on accept. Remove this. Create account. And let's wait for it. Let's save these. And let's send out a verification code. Let's open our email and go check our inbox. 
then right after that you will find it so let's wait a little bit it might get late um, okay there we go copy paste and verify right after that what I'm gonna do is pretty simple I have to fulfill this information with my own credentials first name last name company name address zip code city country and state so let's do that real quick I'm gonna just fake all of these informations real quick and let's go ahead and go to the next step so there we go and we have created our account successfully click on done click on next right here and let's go back in this page let's refresh it real quick um, refresh and then here list for sale and get started 100 as, it, as we did before as for sale page publish and here you should add the information so your credentials so I think mine was something like that let me just do this and do that and I think if I sign in I should be able to sign in very quickly oh, I should go like that all right you enter an uncorrect username please oh it should have a username so let's try to copy the username from here is it GoDaddy sign in? Yeah, it is GoDaddy sign in. So we should be able to find the GoDaddy sign in somewhere. I think right here. We could copy this instead and put it right there. Uh, let me just get my password right real re fast and be back. So here, the thing is guys, for those who have an account associated with Google or basically with Gmail, you will not be able to actually get to the next phase. So let me show you like that. Um, let's sign in continue and basically if you do have an associate, associated account with Google or Gmail since you log in with like a normal Gmail account well you cannot do that for uh, for a reason for some weird reason but otherwise it should work as you can see right now so now it is being uh, for sale uh, by now price as you can see 100 and estimated value it is below 100 so now we have sold our account we can find it here in the dashboard pretty easily so we can find here accounts we can fit here portfolio and all domains that we are basically now selling so this is the estimated price the minimum offer is twenty dollars and the floor price is basically here you can put it and change whatever you want in this page so yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel if you do have any more questions or problems that you have faced throughout this video make sure to mention them in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching see you guys in the next tutorial